Sophia Wales? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wales? Wallace. Wallace? Let's say Wallace. This is me a Wallace. Alright guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What up? My boy C Jack over here. Back in the house. Back in the house. Back from your trip, you little yeah. rendezvous. I love my yeah. trip. My trip was <laughs> Get away. I had, a, I, had a, I had a great trip. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have been blessed enough to capture us, to see us, to go <laughs> across your YouTube screen and you like our content, please go ahead and subscribe Gross. right now. Yeah. Hit that little yeah. bell to get notifications. Because we're, like one yes. <laughs> we're one of a kind. We're one of a kind, though we're three. The power one of, one of, of the kind blitz page. compels you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Perfecta. we did a favor for you guys. And you better be thanking us. A big favor. A big, big one. favor. <laughs> 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 and it's we went complete. to go see this movie called The Mummy. Oof. Now, we all grew up on this as kids. One, two, and three. Right. We got Scorpion, Scorpion King. King out of this. That's probably the best one, though. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to go see it. Yeah. We got Tom Cruise, of course. We got Russell Crowe in it. And we got Sophia Butella from Kingsman. She's the one with the little... The knife. The knife legs. The sword or legs. Little tink tink. Yeah, little uh, <laughs> So we got some pretty big ballers in this movie. We definitely do. Yeah, big um, names. There's going to be some other people that you that you know as well. Some new actors. So if you do go see it, you might be like, oh. But you might not go see it after our review. Um, so yeah. as, a, actual, as a remake, is this necessary as a remake? You know what? Um, so like... When, when they show you the Universal Studios uh, title, they kind of flip it on you and they say Dark Universe or something? Dark yeah, universe. so this, this is uh, well, this is a reestablishment of the Monster Universe. It was kind of cool. Like, we got, you know, Universe Pictures and then it phased out to, you know, Dark Universe. I was like, okay, all right, you're preparing me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as far as this movie goes, did they have to remake this just to be a part of the Monster Universe? No. <laughs> yeah, no. It sucked. It was bad. To be honest. It was, it was bad. pretty bad. Straight up. What you've got on the actual uh, Rotten Tomatoes is probably what you're going to experience. Right. I, I, I don't understand well, who the audience was, really. Yeah, because they tried to make it PG-13 for like a broader audience. Yeah. But you know what? If they would have taken it one step further and made it rated R, I think that they would have appealed to like maybe a more mature audience, obviously. Right. And you all know me. I tend been to be pretty action. optimistic about right. things, and I was a little unhappy with this movie. I, I, I liked the characters. The story just didn't do it for me. and uh, It was just boring. Uh, yeah, it lost my attention, like, real quick. And then as soon as it lost my attention, it did grab me with a couple of things that they yeah, did mention yeah. that were pretty much a surprise. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sophia Butella as Amanette was pretty dope. Yeah, I she's her. our main money. I, I loved and her. She, she was played dope. the part. As yeah. far as a bad guy, yeah. he was a villain. She owned that role. Yeah. I, totally. I, I walked out of there, I was at least happy. I was happy with a couple like characters. Like I said, characters. I was, she bombed it. Like, for yeah, she, she, was, right. she was cool. Amazing. Right. She was cool. So how, what you see on the trailer is what you're going to get from her on yeah. the actual movie. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I thought she was dope. She really killed it. She just didn't really fit with everyone else. Right, right. As far as the characters are concerned. I felt like she was carrying the story. Like, as far as, like, this is the mummy movie. There's the mummy, obviously. She's on a rampage. And then everyone else is just kind of like, okay, we got to figure this out. And I'm just, like, dozing off. Like, okay, you guys figure it out. Wake me up. Man, talk about those. It was funny. I hear Derek snoring. I'm like, oh, he's out. We lost him. We lost him. Right after the plane crash. I was like, oh, what is happening? Oh, my God. It's one of those movies. And then Oh, you know what? The the plane crash, Tom Cruise didn't do that weird scream. Yeah, they ended it. (laughs) (laughs) They ended it right now. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I was waiting on it. Yeah, I was waiting on that, too. But I feel like they probably got some backlash from the, the trailer and, like, right. did some re-edits and cut that part out. Yeah. So, <laughs> his character, uh, in contrast to Brendan Fraser, who we got in the uh, original Mummy movies, what did you guys think about that? It's not a big difference, I feel. Right? I feel like it wasn't a big difference. I, yeah. I, no, I'm sorry. Brendan Fraser was just too notable for me. He, he, I enjoyed his character much more. It, I think the reason why I enjoyed that character is because we usually saw Brendan Fraser a more a comedic role. Yeah. So we got to see him in a bit more of a, a you know, an action. Actual, yeah. Yeah. And so that made a big change for me when I watched 
the original mummies. So that's Freddy not even Freddy. the original mummy. Like original mummy was back in the day. I love my monster movies. Yeah. And you know the original still has hands over feet on this one just because it was just more creepy. Yeah. Like they, 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 well, that's the hard part. This is Sophia Tim Battella. Yeah. What's her name? She brought the creepy factor. Oh, she, she did totally a very did. good job. I like what they did with the eyes and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, like just, the writing on her that face. That was kind of cool. Yeah. That was cool. She was about the, the only yeah. thing that was cool in the movie. Right. The All the action scenes that were cool were yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah just absolutely. The, it was the character balance was just not there. Her emotions when they captured her. Oh, yeah. Like, ah, like she was the only one I feel like did a great, had a great performance. Oh, yeah. 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 Either she was the only one that understood the direction of the director, <laughs> or, or yeah. everyone was just bad at what they. And what they try to portray. It was just I, I was, su such a weird contrast, you know? Like, it's not something that I would expect from Tom Cruise's character, obviously. He no. comes off very, like, action, like, oriented. And this one, he was kind of clumsily, like, Brendan Fraser. Like, he was acting yeah. like a Brendan Fraser. It's exactly. That's why I didn't And it wasn't good. It. There was no need to really remake it, because we already got this type of yeah. version. Right. Yeah. Just give us a different version. Go with what you did on Dracula Story Untold. And just rewrite it. I think know? the rated art thing would have been way better for it. I think yeah. so. I think then they would have. They at least would have had an route. audience. Yeah. yeah. I think mm -hmm. they should have went that route. I think they should have taken more chances, and the story they they should have like really really kind of ah just you lost it man like yeah I want I go back to like Monster Squad if you remember that do you guys watch that one ah, no oh my god I'm sorry <laughs> but <laughs> yeah no just it lost me this movie lost me quite a bit so even like the mummies that they or the the Walking Dead that they had right it just wasn't good like that that scene when they're swimming right in the water I'm like oh my gosh it just looks stupid they're all trying to swim and chase uh. Tom yeah. Cruise, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god. I, I think that there's a trailer for this one. It was a, a little bit misleading to the actual movie. Uh, it, it's kind of iffy, iffy about it, too, because even in the trailer, they did give us um, uh, uh, that painted black kind of soundtrack to this one. Yeah. Do you guys remember what what kind of music they had in this no, uh, musical score? No. It wasn't that notable Actually, either. Actually, <laughs> there, was, there was one notable thing. They had this kind of creepy violin thing that they did, like, once or twice, and I'm like, you guys really needed to do that a lot more because I actually really that in the beginning, yeah, yeah, actually they did it twice. They literally it only good. used it right. like it twice good. that I, I remember, and yeah. um, I was like, okay, that was credible. Like I, I I can put that with her now, yeah. Especially if I were just to see her like pop out in a future movie, right? And hear that violin twist. Oh, there goes like, that music. There she is. Yeah, exactly. Where's she at? Exactly that. Get but ready for some good acting. They didn't like, do it enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just don't think there's a need to go see this movie. I mean, why? Yeah. Mm. Especially if you grew up. Watching one, two, and three with Brendan Fraser, which I didn't like either, but I feel like we already got this type of feel style. of a movie. Yeah. yeah, let's get a different style. Like, are you guys going with the dark universe? Because to me, it didn't seem that dark. Um, there were dark aspects to it at the very beginning, where we kind of see the main story and you know how she does this whole ritual. Which actually pretty much freaked me out, and I thought yeah, they were yeah. going to go dark with it. Yeah, and then it just went like uh, Quite clumsily. Yeah. yeah, I think that too. The cinematography too. It's like when they, uh, to me, it felt like um, when they focused on Cruz, Cruzy Tommy, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy See, boy. That's how much this character did not affect me <laughs> at all. Like the big guy, like, like Tom Cruz, Tom Cruz, yeah. Cruzy Tommy. He's like, about right here. <laughs> so, so Cruzy Tom. Um, you know, just I felt like the cinematography changed when it focused on him compared to her, and I felt like they oh, had yeah. the tinted blues, they had yeah. the fade out, the softness of her, and they did that with her, but then it transitioned back. So it's like the cinematography was losing me going back and forth between that because it's like you got to mesh these worlds together and make it right. work, and I was just like, that's aggravating the hell out of me right now. It's Tom Cruise, man, we got to see his face. Yeah, everything has to be right here. It was no. really weird though the way they did it because like at some portions of it, I bought that like, well, like what they did with Underworld where they use like really dark like blues mm -hmm. and and dark grays, but then like at points they did really light colors. So I yeah. was like, hmm. this reminded me of National Treasure, mm -hmm. Da Vinci Code. And the mummy, Except, first three. I, 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 I didn't find it was that intelligent as the Da Vinci Code, though. No, but they were going, they were running around the city, yeah. and they just they were driving everywhere. I don't know. It just was a lot. There was a chase. Yeah, it, it, there, there was a little bit of a chase aspect to it, but it wasn't interesting, though. No, no it wasn't. It wasn't because you didn't, you didn't get that. I didn't feel threatened. Like I didn't feel very threatened. I did. I felt intimidated by her. Yeah, but I didn't feel threatened. No, uh, Russell Crowe's character, I, I actually really liked. Um, I thought had huge potential. And I, I felt like they yeah. kind of short-checked them. But I realized that they, to, 
could keep the balance. They couldn't enhance too much on it. But we also got a tribute to a lot of different things in the movie. So we've got a tribute to some of the future monsters, which I'm pretty sure they're going right. to want to do. And uh, we got a tribute to yeah. the... Um, <laughs> uh, pay attention to the books. I'll just say that. Yeah, but... little, little uh, Easter eggs. <laughs> uh, like a nod to the classic Mummy movies. But we're not like, telling you to go see the movie. But so, yeah, yeah, I mean, just 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 wait, just be patient, you know. It's like there's plenty of other movies that you can it's see. It's perfectly I'm sure. fine for a matinee if that maybe don't rush out to oh, see it. Oh man, I think you know what? A waste of time. As a matter of fact, this is horrible. Yeah. But go watch Garden of the Galaxy Volume Two because it just passed the eighty million mark, and might as well just give more money to that. Woo. Or Wonder, <laughs> Wonder, Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get to chime in on that last week, but oh my god, I love that movie. Yeah, we're not telling yes. you to go see this movie. Go watch Wonder Woman again. But there are some <laughs> things in it that are kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, if you just are a diehard mommy fan, you have to go see this. Or a diehard Tom Cruise fan, yeah. and you just have to see every movie he's in. Diet fine. Coke. There might be some things that you like, but uh, oh, overall, it's just not a good movie. It's not interesting. Right. And that's all I can. I mean, that's the best way to sum it. It's just not interesting. Some cool things are going on, but it's not interesting enough for me to like wait to see those connect. Yeah, it lost my attention way too quick. Yeah, way too quick. I just I wasn't. I watched the whole thing. I stood awake through the whole thing. I didn't doze off. I was very focused on the movie, and I just, I feel very kind of robbed. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, was, oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, how many times did I elbow you to wake up? Oh, at least, <laughs> at least twice, at least, uh, that I remember, anyway. <laughs> and again, um, we only saw him awake when, like, something happened, and, like, someone's getting hurt or dying, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, and then he's laughing. Yeah, 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 that was funny. Um, now, it's, it's, it's kind of given to us as if it's going to be a sequel. Right. Like they're trying to connect these movies together. Mm -hmm. I just don't see it happening. No, I think no. this wasn't it. This wasn't a, a good start. Um, I don't know what they thought they were going to do. I know they probably had big budget. They had to pay Tom Cruise. They had to pay Russell, Russell Crowe. Crow. Big follows. Maybe they're uh, pulling the DC thing, you know? It's going to take them 20 movies to fucking get there. Yeah, but DC <laughs> yeah. still brought in the money, though. I don't think this is going to bring in the money. Yeah, I don't know. know. Like uh, they, they tried to reboot. Like, honestly, I would also tell you, go watch Dracula Untold and You'll feel a lot better about that Watch movie. Watch that movie. It was so anything. good. Like, yeah. I, I will give props to that that movie because it just, that was a, a firm establishment of the Monster Universe. I would I would die to see more of that. Yeah. But now I have to sleep with the fucking mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe they will um, like the just because they you. already have a plan. But honestly, I think it'll be a waste of time because I'm not going to go see Mummy Part 2. Sorry. So what's your rating? Final verdict. My final verdict. Huh, what did I give? What did I give? Uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I give that a four. I think no, so. I gave it a six. I think. Oh wow. Well, I'm just giving it how I feel. Yeah. I'm honestly, I'm gonna give this a four. Um, it gets a point off because the Egyptians didn't have any black people, first of all. So that's already black a point. people again. What the hell's right going on with that? Off the bat, <laughs> it was even if it was a great movie, it was never gonna get a ten. Woo! Because yeah. no black Egyptians. Yeah. But it wasn't, so I'm not to give it a four. I really was irritated that I even watched it. I I wanted to walk out. Like, are you, like, are you feeling sometimes? I wanted to walk out. I wanted to take a it nap. Just, <laughs> my, my time was worth a lot to me, yeah. and I just don't want to waste it. I don't care about the money. Could have been, it, it could fit a great movie, like Star Wars. I watch it, like, three times, spend, <laughs> like, 40 bucks on the, on, the, on the weekend or whatever to watch a movie. Yeah. But my time is, is well spent. This... Really, it really irked me to have to sit there. Yeah. Uh, so, I want to give it a four. It's whack. Four out of ten. Uh, I guess if if I'm going next, if I have to give this movie a rating, it's gonna get a three. I mean, it to me it wasn't that impressive. There were really cool things that they just flopped on. The whole movie was a giant flop. I mean, the the only interesting character really was. Aminette. She was like the mo most yeah. interesting character. Everyone else's character just took away from her. Yeah. Like, if, if they would have kept the path that they were going with a dark monster movie with her and what she did, and just like everyone supported her, then it would have been dope. You know, they could have done a like rated R underworld type of style, Dracula story untold. Yeah. That would have been it. But you know what? Just save your money. <laughs> um,. It's kind of difficult for me because I'm going back and forth between numbers. Uh, but like like Adon said, Aminette was probably the best part. I felt there was only one male character that I was actually heavily attached, well, not even heavily attached to, but stuck out to me. And he didn't get very many parts at all. But there, he, uh, um, Russell Crowe has this kind of second in, second in command character, uh, his this this partner, 
And I felt his intensity as far as being responsive and being that action type was far better than even Tom Cruise. Uh, do you remember oh, the guy that um, shot Tom Cruise? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And, and like I liked, I felt that intensity from that actor, and I'm like, why don't we use this guy? Like, <laughs> um, so I just felt like there, there was a, there were key characters that could have been utilized more in a much better way. And yeah. um, uh, Aminette, like you, you don't uh, so hard. I don't know what to give it. I, I'm really struggling here. What um, does your heart tell you? My my heart <laughs> originally like told me like okay like do a do a six to be nice. But here we I, go. I'm sorry, I'm in a, in a struggle, but I'm probably going to give this maybe about, a, maybe about a five, and I'm struggling with that alone, but it's strictly because the Aminette character, and it, it at least, I, I, I would like to see... it's the lowest see, rating you've given any movie. Probably. Yeah. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. That one for Superman definitely got a lower rating. Oh, man. <laughs> so this movie's average. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 not, it's on that average. I, yeah, I wouldn't make you guys go rush to go see this. Um, yeah, and I say that with a heavy it's heart. Below I was average. Hoping. I was very much hoping for I gave it a below average Average score. is eight. <laughs> Most movies are pretty good. Well, one out of this ten. This is below. This is this is very far yeah. below. It's so below. It's an F. You don't need to. It's an F. F. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. We, we You're waste, welcome. We waste our time so that you can watch our review. And You're welcome. And not waste a complete hour. You welcome. <laughs> We're going to go watch Cards <laughs> next Tuesday for you, so maybe that'll... Redeem. I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's not like the other ones. I've never liked cars, so we'll see. That's our next review, guys. Cars. So yeah. let's just move on from this one. Sucked. Check out our next review next week, guys. We do this for you guys. So please like, share, subscribe, and let us know if you did see it. Did would you have rather have a cameo with Brendan Fraser in it, <laughs> or do we just like forget about him altogether? And Leave him in the 90s. <laughs> right. That's, he never happened. He doesn't exist. Yeah. Let us know. Also, what is your favorite monster movie? Do we got something you guys want to throw out there? Dracula. Um, definitely Dracula. I'm a big fan of Wolfman because I'm furry just like him and we're dead sexy and furry. So Aww. Well, you're furry. We got that part. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Let us know. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adam. Mr. c -Jack. And we're out, baby. Peace. <laughs> 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 no one knows what that's from. <laughs> <laughs>